meeting on the planning commission uh, dated uh, Wednesday, August 28th, 2024 at 641, uh, officially into session. Uh, roll call. Commissioner Cody Ed. Present. Commissioner Winkler. Present. Commissioner Terraza Baxter. Here. Vice Chair Person Rivera. Here. And Commissioner Abadi is absent for the record. Is, uh, do we have any adjustments to the agenda for this evening? Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on to the. Uh, oh. How dare I? How dare <laughs> let's, um, let's go ahead and start the uh, Pledge of Allegiance to staff of the Pledge of Allegiance. How dare I? Ready? Begin. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. All right, uh, since I got hit on myself, uh, normally we do the uh, the adjustments to the agenda, but since we have no adjustments at this evening, we'll move forward to the uh, B public uh, appearances. Uh, do we have any uh, scheduled public appearances? Okay, just uh, to outline uh, the public appearance and the matters not appearing at the agenda, if you wish to address the Planning Commission concerning any item not appearing on the agenda and within the Commissioner's uh, jurisdiction, please raise your hand and be acknowledged by the Chairperson. At that time, state your name and address for the record. The Chairperson uh, reserves the right to place a time limit on each person's presentation of three minutes. It is requested that uh, longer presentations be submitted to the Commission in writing. Uh, looking down at the um, at the uh, room, I have uh, anybody. Oh, okay, I have nobody, and again, we've uh, outlined that there's uh, nobody uh, scheduled. We will move on to um, C. New businesses uh, discussion action are recommended or denied. Uh, C one administration of the oath. Of office, uh, newly appointed planning commissioner Francisco Curiel is uh, my uh, honor to uh, to welcome you aboard. Since we've already taken care of the formalities of that, um, <coughs> can we take a second for him to, to tell us a little bit about uh, about himself? Yeah. yeah, please. Oh, now you guys are putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I gave you I gave you the the pass on the pledge of allegiance. Um, go ahead and uh, and take it from here. Well, my name is Francisco Curiel and. Uh, been a valley wide resident, um, born in Brawley, raised in El Centro. Uh, part of the first graduating class of Southwest. Unfortunately, I'm not an Imperial Tiger, but my family is. Uh, my family's from Imperial. A lot of them are from, uh, graduated from Imperial. My kids uh, attend Imperial, uh, Imperial School District. Um, I'm also uh, currently, I studied architecture. Been been doing construction between between architecture and, and construction uh, for the roughly the last oh geez it's been a while twenty five to thirty years if that I seem uh, younger than that but I feel a little younger than that <laughs> um, and I cur I'm currently working for a general contractor uh, Nielsen Construction which is out of San Diego California. All right, well, welcome aboard. Uh, Glad to have your experience uh, on the on the uh, on the committee. Okay, um, thank you. Anybody have anything for him? No press, nothing pressing for him. No press, pressing <laughs> questions for him. <laughs> Dang it. Um, C two uh, appointing the planning commission chairperson. I'll just do a brief intro. The way that our ordinances are set up is that um, every July we do a reorganization. So we did that in July, but since our chairperson is now vacant, you just have that item on. In the event you do switch the vice chair um, around up to that chairperson, you could also uh, handle that at this meeting as well, tied to the same item, or wait till the next meeting. But go ahead and talk about it and decide who you guys decide to fill in for chairperson. All motion to appoint um, chair, uh, Commissioner. Uh, 
Rivera as the commission's chairperson. I'll second that motion. Um, we put that to a to a vote officially. We should. We should. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you reject us, you reject us. Fight going out the door. We can I, still do it. I, I have. I have. Uh, in all honesty, I've spent the last two years finding a way to to work my way around it, and you guys went straight on the attack. Let's uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, make that official. Just tap it. Nope. I only have Lisa's on there. There we go. Tap oh. them again. I'm missing yeah. Rivera's. Nope. Tap. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. That's to stay on. Yeah, yeah, tap it again. It's not on for Terraza Baxter. There you go. Oh, okay. motion carries 4 0. And then now my recommendation would be under this item, and we can verify it on the, the next agenda, but would be if you're comfortable picking a vice chair at this time, it would be appropriate, or we can put it on the next agenda. Um, do we have any objections to go ahead and just closing that out and, uh, and putting that to a vote at this time? Do I, do I have any? Uh, no. Um, so any, uh, any nominations for uh, the vice chair at this time? I nominate Lisa. Okay, I will. Uh, I will uh, second that. <laughs> and I will accept the nomination. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Motion carries with one abstain from Commissioner Winkler. All right. With uh, those uh, those matters uh, taken uh, taken care of, we'll move ahead to uh, item D, consent uh, calendar uh, D one, approval of planning commission meeting uh, meeting minutes for November eighth, twenty twenty three. Um, do we do those uh, individually? We can do them all together, unless anyone um, states that they'd like to separate them. And then just a little bit of advice, since you weren't here for the meetings, it'd be okay to abstain on on this one, but. Um, that's what I would recommend. So you can just do one to approve the entire consent calendar unless somebody wants to pull it. Everybody on board with the uh, total vote or anybody have anything in a particular one of these uh, that they want to um, do separately? We can have the total. That's fine with the total. Okay. I'll make uh, a motion to approve the total consent calendar. Okay. That being said, um, do I have a second? A second. Uh, just for the record, I'm going to go ahead and read the uh, the other three. D2, approval for planning commission meeting minutes on February 28th, 2024. Uh, D3, appro uh, approved planning commission meeting minutes for June 26, 2024. And D4, uh, approved planning commission meetings for July 24th, 2024. Um, let's go ahead and take that to a vote. Motion carries 3-0 with one abstain from Commissioner Codiel. Um, item E, public hearing, discussion action, recommend, uh, recommend or uh, deny uh, E1 subject, uh, public hearing, discussion action, uh, conditional use permit for 240748 express to allow the off sale of uh, beer and wine under uh, a type 20 ABC license at 390 West Aiton Road. The project is uh, categorically exempt from the California uh, Environmental Quality Act. The sequel under uh, section 15061 uh, B3, common sense and section 15301 existing facilities. Um, public hearing. So I'll go ahead and open for the uh, public hearing at this time. Do we have anything? Yes. We're here. Good evening, commissioners, and welcome, Commissioner Curiel. Um, this project is um, for CUP 2407, is to allow Aiton Express 
uh, to acquire a Type 20 ABC license that will allow them to <clears throat> sell alcoholic beverages for off-premise cons con consumption. The project is categorically exempt from CEQA, as mentioned, um, under 15061, common sense exemption, and 15301, existing facilities. Um, this public hearing was duly noticed in the Hopeville Tribune on August 15th, and notices were also mailed out to all property owners within 300 feet. There were no objections received by our office or the city clerk's office um, as of end of date today. The Development Review Committee reviewed the proposed project, and as noted in the staff report, our police department conditioned um, um, the property owner to educate staff on responsible alcohol sales. Um, other than that, um, there were no other conditions other than the standard conditions the city sets on all, on all projects. The applicant uh, sent a representative um, to speak on his behalf. Um, she is here to answer any questions you may have. Okay, thank you. That's... Uh... Yeah, come on up. It's okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, but you need to speak to me a little bit louder because I can barely hear you guys. So, I am Veronica. I'm representing Aiden Express and Mr. Raf Cocker. So, if you have any questions for me. Nothing over there? Let me ask me. Oh, ask a question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, actually, not a question for you, more for, for staff. Um, I guess the question was, based on the conditions of approval, I did see that the provisions of the CUP will run with the land, and it binds current and future owners. And then I saw in the staff report that the past owner had the ability to sell alcohol. So is, I guess my question would be, why are we coming for this CUP with this new owner, if if my understanding based off of previous agreements is that they can just carry over to the next one? It's a very good question and good catch. So this was a non-conforming use. So it our um, zoning ordinance at this location does require that it go through this process. And so we're doing it correctly at this time. Oh, okay. So you are exactly right. Um, it They did sell it before. We didn't have that um, condition or it wasn't met. We didn't go through the process when it was first established. So when when we talked about it, we said we need to do it do it correctly because ABC will check and, and this will be forwarded to them. Got it. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I, I, I think we've brought that up before. Once we get a hold, we realize that we, mm -hmm. we kind of holding ourselves to accountable to that. Correct. Um, we're we're, yeah, okay. we're trying right. very, very hard to be, um, if there are any issues or non-conforming uses within fair, uh, you know, to to immediately treat treat it appropriately and to treat everyone the exact same. So. Okay. All right, then. Um, the public won't notice the difference. All right. Okay. You guys have been, how long have you guys had your doors open under the new management? I can hear it. Can you sit it like that? How long have you uh, guys been uh, open under the new manager? Do you want to talk to her? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, but. Hmm? Spanish? No, 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 I can barely hear it. That's why it doesn't help. How long have you been open? Since April. We've been open since April. April 1st. Yeah, Oton, that's correct, right? I think it was closed correct. for a short period of time it, it and then for... had been transferred. And then they've been working on their ABC permit. You'll see if you go there that it's posted for the public to know about it. And then this is our zoning approval. And, you know, some of the things that people consider when they're doing the zoning element of this mm -hmm. is are there way too many alcohol stores in that location or too many, you know, so... Uh, when you're thinking about it from a land use perspective, you're thinking about, is this the right place to sell alcohol in our community? Yeah. And as Rebecca, or, sorry, Commissioner mentioned, um, it, it is one of those things that they were doing it at, what was it, maybe six, ten months ago they were selling? So it should not be a significant change. But. Okay. All right. That's no, correct. I was just, just kind of covering that. Um, 
uh, it's another one of those instances where it's we've had it before. Uh, obviously, it, it worked out for everybody, uh, everybody involved. Um, I'm, I don't look for I don't look forward to I don't see anything uh, any reason to uh, to hold this up. Um, does anybody else have any questions? Ms. Curiel, I'm going to pick on you for the rest of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Is uh, okay. No, that's it. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Moving on to a commission discussion. Uh, I think no, close I hear it. Oh, my goodness. I'm so lost. <laughs> Closing the uh, pub, uh, public comment at this, at this point, uh, moving on to a commission uh, discussion. Um, just one more time for the record. Uh, nobody has anything any, anything further on this? No, I'm good. Okay. No. All right. Um, I'm uh, going to uh, move forward for a, uh, a recommendation in action on this. Anybody? Motion to approve resolution of the Planning Commission of City of Imperial recommending approval of conditional use permit 24-07 to allow the off-sale alcoholic beverage sales at Eaton Express located at 390 East Eaton Road. Can I get a second? One second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Motion carries four zero. <laughs> um, okay. Moving on to item F, uh, commission a new business discussion action uh, recommend denied to F one city hall parking lot improvements. Yeah, good evening, commissioners. Uh, David Dale, Public Services Director. So this proposal. Um, is not necessarily regarding the parking lot striping changes, but the striping changes along Imperial Avenue in front of City Hall. So we are proposing to remove two spaces. I know that um, parking is at a premium, especially in front of City Hall and City Hall, um, City Hall parking lot. Uh, but part of the parking lot project will be expanding the spaces by eight. We'll, so we'll have eight more spaces in the parking lot, and we'll have one more accessible space. So essentially nine more spaces, what we're changing in City Hall. And we're, re, we're proposing to actually reduce the parking uh, along Imperial Avenue by two spaces. We did increase the parking by two spaces when I believe this commission approved the removal of the crosswalk, and subsequently the City Council approved the removal of the crosswalk. So essentially it will be a wash with regard to the number of spaces. Um, in the City Hall parking lot project, we are now proposing that none of those spaces will be marked uh, or reserved in any kind of way. Right now, we have three or four spaces that are 15-minute parking only inside of City Hall parking lot, which they're not really enforced. So, I mean, really, we're not enforcing the 15-minute parking. So when people come up to pay their water bill or have some sort of business with City Hall or community development, they're having sometimes have a hard time to find parking. So we are proposing to, to make three spaces in front of City Hall along Imperial Avenue, 15 minute parking spaces only, and then those would be enforced uh, through ticketing measures. Um, so, and then we're also proposing to the, as going back to the two spaces we're proposing to remove, the reason why we're pr proposing to remove them as parking is at a premium is that exiting the parking lot, it is very difficult to see oncoming northbound traffic on Imperial Avenue. And so we already had at least one um, collision there uh, for that reason. And so what we did was when the gas company slurry sealed Imperial Avenue and they restriped it, we asked them not to stripe those last two pending this uh, commission's approval and subsequently, of course, the city, um, city council so that when employees are leaving the they, we can, uh, the public is leaving our parking lot, they can see what it will feel like without those two spaces. And so far, I got positive feedback that it's much better to for vision uh, leaving the parking lot. So what we're doing, we're proposing to, instead of making those parking spaces, proposing to make a pickup and drop off only where UPS can stop there and drop off, uh, or uh, people can stop there and drop off their, their water bill in the drop box there, because there's a drop box right there. So. Essentially, that is the proposal that we're putting in front of you, and I'm happy to answer any questions. 
I have a question. Uh, for the 15 minute parking spots that are going to, I guess not removed, but be moved right from the parking lot to the street. How many were in the parking lot? Is it three also? Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's the three. same amount yeah. that you're moving. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was it. So for the one, it's going to be a parallel parking where the two spots are. It could be parallel or or straight in because UPS is going to probably. And I we checked it. You can actually come in and park parallel as you're coming northbound on Imperial. So there's enough. It's like 28 feet. So there's enough room to come in from northbound and park parallel to drop off, or there's enough room to park um, straight in. It it we don't have a we don't have it uh, designated yet okay. that way. And then someone will monitor that it's just a pick up and drop off. Yeah, this this will be a, a police issue. And that'll so. just be, so everything is only 8 to 5? Like all the time parking in front will only be 8 to 5? Because like if someone across the street's having a party, can they have people park there after 5 for as long as they want? Well, that's a good point that I really didn't think about that, but for the 15-minute <laughs> parking, but um, because yeah. in the weekends, it's generally a ghost town right there. Yeah, so it'll just be like, it'll just be marked 8 to 5 or something? I guess we could do that if you... That, if that's the direction. I, I mean, I guess on the sign, Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, 15-minute yeah. parking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one just be on mine. Okay. Yeah, so I agree. If case. if we don't, we will cross that yeah. path. In, in, in we'll have a line of people that got tickets uh, here. <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, if we can make that... Uh, that's a good point. Make that note. Um, so in the end, we ended up, like you noted, is um, with the removal of the uh, crosswalk and then with the, with the spaces accounted for inside... Uh, we end up breaking even. That's that's about the same math that I came with. Now you did you did note that you guys have been trying this out. Yes, it's and we've been using it for the past two weeks, like that. That's, like that, that was the first thing that I was going to and and mm -hmm. go ahead and just check that off the box now. Um, so it's not marked right now. It's just empty because I was waiting for this commission and of course city city council. So, but if if this commission finds that those parking spaces should be there, we can always strike them. Yeah, I'm sure the parcel services will 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 commend us for for helping them out in that regard. So, um, anything else? Um, we move forward and uh, get a recommendation on that. I would make a recommendation, but I don't see what the, the title oh, of it is. Yeah. It doesn't the have City Hall parking lot improvements? Or is just... Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the City Hall parking lot improvements with um, mm -hmm. the adjustments of putting the parking, the time parking to only be Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. No holidays. I second that. Motion carries 4 0. Uh, F2 split the uh, phase highway 86 and uh, 15th Street. Yes, uh, so this item we've received requests to um, change the signal at 15th and Imperial Avenue from what well, a permissive type of phasing to a split phase. Permissive is, I'm sure you've seen it, when you have just a green globe and the left turns have to yield to oncoming traffic and what we're proposing is to create a split phase which means that you have a left green arrow um, so it's a dedicated left turn so what we're seeing is the improvement of safety for pedestrians crossing on the what we're proposing to change it only to the north side of the 15th and because right now there's pedestrian crosses on the south side and the north side um, but the south side is not marked, so there's no crosswalk, and there is no sidewalk on the south side of 15th on the uh, east side of Highway 86. So we want to dedicate this crossing from to one side of the street, which would be the north side in this case, which is the side of uh, where all of the commercial activity and the school is at. And so we would, in this proposal, remove the pedestrian crossing on the south side and, in, and change the signal from, a, from three bulbs to four when the fourth one would be the left turn arrow only. Um, in where our view is that left turn, uh, dedicated left turns are safer. And, and so um, we have that. And I want to also bring out a couple more things that 
were not in the staff report necessarily. But um, one of the things that we see is that in the last two and a half years, the city has now implemented a camera system. So the camera system identifies vehicles and it adjusts accordingly. So that would also help in this regard. And that only came into place in the last two and a half years. So before that signal was installed in the way it is right now. And so the city can modify the timing on that uh, from, from the, the shop. Uh, also, the east and westbound lanes in this particular intersection have dedicated left-hand uh, lanes. So there's, it's not just one lane and, and you're waiting. So there are dedicated left-hand lanes already um, provided. And as I mentioned, the split phase we think is uh, safer. It also mentions in a traffic study that was done for um, Barioni and 15th that um, if the signal is changed into a permissive, which right now, by the way, all the signals are now split phase except for this one. They're all, in the whole city are all split except for this one particular one. The traffic study identifies if it's if it goes to permissive, it could lead to more traffic collisions. So the going the other way is the safer way, going from permissive to split, in my opinion. I'm not a traffic engineer, but I, I do believe that going from a permissive to split is safer. Um, we also, like I said, we're moving the south pedestrian crossing, which would be safer for pedestrians and also expedite the traffic. A lot of tra when traffic studies are created, they're created to say, like, how can we expedite traffic safely through in intersections? Uh, removing that would, um, pedestrian crossing, we think, would um, expedite traffic and make it more safe. Um, the only, like, if there is a drawback, uh, the drawback would be that the tra traffic going straight through would have an additional wait period for the left-hand turns to make the left-hand first. So that would be, I guess, the con out of all this and all the pros. Would, the con would be a little bit more waiting for the straight traffic to go through. And... Essentially, that is my presentation. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. <clears throat> I just had one question. Do a lot of kids use that southbound cross, um, crosswalk now? I would defer and maybe yes. open. <laughs> oh, yes, they cross from where they empty into the school. It's so then what? But the but on the north side. But only on the north side of the street, or because do they the, cross on the, the south side? The crossing guards the cross okay. on the north side. They don't okay. cross on the south side. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's south side. So nobody really uses that south. Very few no. uses that cross out. Now. I don't think there's any sidewalks on the yeah, south. Yeah, there's no side. south. They don't yeah. really use it. Yeah. I haven't seen. I, I've only seen the one to the north. On the north side. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna err in the, on the on the thought process of 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 a young adolescent coming out of school, <laughs> and the draw there is gonna be that a.m. p.m. to swing by after school and go buy something sweet, something sugary, uh, and that's most likely. Uh, why they, you know, they would probably use a north end, uh, which kind of leans in our favor in that in that regard. Um, but again, that's not scientific. That's not traffic study. That's just thinking um, that that, that kind of works in our favor. Um, Mr. Dale, you, did I hear correctly? We we do um, have the ability. We the lights can switch in those lights over or is under city, right? Not. Not state. This is all city, correct? Okay, right. okay. I'm just making sure. I, I was hoping I heard that right. Cause all of now Highway 86 and the city limits are is now city right away. Mm -hmm. I believe. Does yep. ne Nick also have the? Yep. Are they under this right now? Was this our last one that that was left? This is the only signal that is currently not split phase. Okay, great. Yeah. And you might have had it in there, and I apologize <coughs> if I didn't see it. How long does it take you to switch it out? Is that like a? <clears throat> quick thing it's or is it going to be a, a little mess while school's going on no oh you mean the construction part yeah the construction part shouldn't have a big impact on traffic is i thought you were talking about the time from where it's approved because we have oh, yeah. engineering to do for there's an engineer that has to get involved and um and make sure that it's stamped by a traffic engineer and um, the construction it, no it, it shouldn't it shouldn't have a big effect on on traffic, traffic. Um, okay it, it's basically essentially the changing the the three lights Signals. to a four light type of signal so okay. and all the other work is done in the cabinet and programming yeah is there any additional striping that's required uh, for that turn that's right there on 15th on the east i'm sorry on the west side um of 86 is there 
for that left turn now that will be there in terms of it being signaled is there any additional striping that's required or anything like that when I looked at it, it has a, already has a dedicated left-hand turn, and then it, the, there's two lanes. There's one dedicated left-hand turn, and there's one that goes straight or right-hand turn. Okay. Two lanes. So I don't think there's any striping changes. Okay. I couldn't remember. Um, Mr. Chair, I have a question. Um, is, is the 80 and 86, I, I thought I, I understood you to say that every other signal is split phase. Now, at 8 and then 86, for example, <clears throat> uh, if, you're, if you're turning left, when the uh, both sides can turn left, right? Mm -hmm. Is that referred to as split phase? The green, the left green arrows? When, when, when you don't have a yield, yes, split phase, correct. So the situation at Barioni uh, is if, if, Let's just take your headed eastbound. If you're going, if you want to go straight east or you want to turn north, mm -hmm. it's green for both of those movements. Mm -hmm. And then at some point in time, it changes, and then the left turn and the through all then turns green, mm -hmm. which is different than Aiton, which has left turns at the same time. Those are both referred to as split phase. Mm -hmm. okay. yep. And so what will it be at 15? Will it be the Aiton, or do we know yet? Will it be the Aiton configuration or the Barioni configuration? So we we have the engineer that's going to do the, the engineering drawings and the new timing, so that's when we'll decide, we'll determine that. Yeah, w whatever the most efficient way is, the traffic engineer will, will give it to us. So is, at that point, does that come back to us again, or will that be, you guys will move forward once you guys make that decision? If, if it's approved tonight, it'll go to city council, I believe, and not, and not back to the traffic commission again. One other quick question. Do you think it'll have any impact on traffic on Aiton Road because it's going to be backed up more, people trying to turn right by having that extra light time? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sorry. Highway 86 onto that street, you know what I mean, by having the extra wait time or anything like that? So my understanding is, and of course, I'm fairly new to the city, but um, there's a lot more left turns than straights and because um, 15th Street is what they call a secondary arterial. Aiton Road, as you mentioned, or Barioni is our major arterials. So because I think because 15th Street doesn't go all the way through to La Bruchery yet, it's considered a secondary arter arterial. And so there's... As the left, there's more left turns and straights right now. So that's one of the reasons why they wanted to change it to the split phase. I was thinking more. I probably didn't explain. Like if you're coming on 86 and you're going to turn right to take your kid to school, okay. is it going to be more of a backup on Highway 86 because of the extra time for the light to turn? Like there's not going to be very, as many cars will be able to get off of 86? Are you going and southbound on 86 you're and turning going right? going southbound on 86. So if you're going southbound on 86 and there's a split phase, so the split phase would be left turn arrow, uh -huh. you can still turn right when the, those cars are turning left. So that uh -huh. I don't see why that would create it would a, a be more, more of a backup. Okay. Uh -huh. Because of the extra light time. If you did, like what Dennis was saying, I guess if they both turn left and go forward at the same time, that would help keep the flow going rather than having a third wait time. I think you would increase yeah. the efficiency, honestly, for yeah. southbound traffic because now you can turn right when there's left turns. Mm -hmm. The only thing you're going to have is more wait time going eastbound from from 15th yeah. because that section of road is not very long for yeah. backup and especially having the school there. So that's where yeah. you may have. And, and we can adjust the timing. If we see something that is not working, like there's more timing, we need to go straight and more time to go left or whatever, we can adjust that. Mm -hmm. And I think that south, they're making that right southbound. Uh, there's there's a specific the, the side the uh, specific uh, lane for making that right. I believe there there's right. I'm sorry. There's the two lanes southbound on okay. southbound yep. on on, mm -hmm. uh, on 86 when you get to uh, to 15th, and there's a third lane, the turning lane, right? That that was installed with the the school. Or, okay. Yeah. I think so. Right. Um, anybody else? No. Is um, uh, looking for uh, 
the uh, recommendation on split phase uh, Highway 86 and 15th Street. Uh, a motion to approve the modify the traffic signal at Highway 86 and 15th Street to split phase, and then also re the removal of the unmarked pedestrian crosswalk. I'll second the motion. That's a perfect catch. Thank you. Motion carries 4-0. Uh, G reports, uh, commissioner's uh, reports. Um, Ms. Barasas Baxter. Nothing to report. Just thank you guys. Um, there is some paving on G Street. I don't know how recent that is, but I know I've been using it more recently, and I'm really excited about it because my tires don't feel it as much. But, then, but other than that, it just, just thank you. I appreciate this. I, I actually really appreciated the split phase concept as well because I utilize that turn signal a lot. So, thank you. I just wanted to remind everybody about the Imperial Sipping Society on September 13th. Um, if you need tickets, I know where you can get them. I'm sure the city has some too. Um, so that should be a fun event. And I just wanted to welcome Mr. Curiel again. Thank you. As well. And that's it. Mr. Curiel? Uh, nothing at this time. Nothing for me? Thank you. Is, um, on my, uh, on my end, I want to apologize, uh, for uh, being late uh, this evening, I'm uh, I just barely made it. I apologize. I just was not feeling uh, good at all. Um, it was a uh, it was a train wreck. I appreciate you guys' patience this evening. I'm, I'm still not feeling good. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything. I I, I just want to uh, to get this uh, over with. Uh, <laughs> staff reports. <laughs> Staff reports, I am hurting so bad. I feel so bad. Oh, wow. <laughs> Go after that. Anything, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Dale. Mr. Dale, um, welcome. Thank you. I think this is the yeah. first meeting that I we we had you on board. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Uh, real quick, just want to welcome Commissioner Korea. Thank you. To the team. Uh, we are at your service. Whatever you need, just please reach out. Uh, in addition to that, the hotel, it's Almost, almost completed. <laughs> the one so. is? Hotel. Almost. Oh, yeah. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> we're, we're, we're almost there. <laughs> There's a lot of progress there. It's oh, it's nice. really good. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Really good. Yeah. It's exciting. Sir? Yeah, I just have a brief 20 minute conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so the hotel is, is almost open. We took a tour. Very nice rooms. Very nice amenities. Really looking forward to it. Get well, feel better. <laughs> and welcome to Mr. Curia. Thank you. Appreciate the perspective you're going to bring. Um, with no further ado, it's, um, I'm going to go ahead and adjourn this uh, meeting of the Planning Commission for, for uh, August uh, 28th at uh, 719. Uh, we will... Uh, Convene again for a regularly scheduled meeting on September 11th, uh, 2024 at 6.30. Thank you.